Hey YouTube foodies, today on Chic Occitol, we are going to make this delicious East African style chicken pilau. This guys is it a must and there's a trick how I cook this so let's cook okay. Before we cook let me introduce you to the ingredient. This is the rice I'm using. It's basmatic rice and aged rice. The quality of your rice will, will be the game changer guys. Make sure it's aged basmatic okay i'm using fresh pilau masala they are listed down below i will also give you option or how if you want to use pre-made pilau masala okay and yeah there is coconut milk in this guys this was ooh, chef kiss delicious there is a lot of prepping to do guys so let's get started first of all i like to remove skin from my chicken and you can leave your skin on if you prefer but it's a personal just I, I like to remove cheek skin from the chicken if i'm cooking it within the rice okay guys these kitchen paper towel are a game changer they just rip that skin off so easily anyway also trim the chicken off any excess fat cut the pieces in half because i will i had it like the leg so i cut a drumstick from the thigh and then place it aside once you have done all the prepping, we are going to season the chicken because I like to pre-spice my chicken. It's not really necessary, but personal choice, again, it's a game changer. Spice really get in, okay? I'm simply using salt, pepper, and a little bit of um, curry powder, oil, just so that the spice or the seasoning can stick to the chicken. So once you add in your salt, pepper curry powder a little bit of drizzle of oil massage this in so that every bit of the meat is coated with these flavors and then i'm going to cover this place it in the fridge for about two hours once we are ready to cook we're gonna start with the rice wash your rice thoroughly until the water is clear it took me about three washes so wash drain until you get a clear water and then fill it up with cold water and soak your rice for 30 minutes once the rice is soaking on the side we are going to prep the spices a lot of prepping guys i know so we start off with um sauteing or grilling is it grilling i don't know we are going to fry our um, spices on a dry pan for about a minute or two so heat up uh, your pan add your spices on there and then stirring it for like a minute you will see you will smell the flavor and you will know okay don't burn them though and then we're going to pound this or ground this i like to leave my cinnamon on the side so i ground the rest and i like them to be roughly ground like that okay guys now everything is ready let's cook We've added oil on the pan on a medium to high heat. Once it's heating up, let's slice the onions. And I just like to slice, slice them like this. And then we're going to saute our onion or caramelize our onion ever gently. Don't rush this stage, guys. Medium to low heat until the onion are nice and have this dark brown color. Take your time. You have to keep on stirring. Once that was cooking, I prepped my ginger and garlic, just mincing them like so and keep them aside. Okay, so we're doing everything at the same time. A lot of prepping, I know. So the onions are there, nice and brown. We are going to add in some bay leaf now, our minced and ginger, and then we're going to fry this. Again, we are on a medium to low for about a minute or two you will smell those flavor and then you will know it's enough follow that with the pre the masala the pilau masala we have prepped and the don't forget the cinnamon add them in and again fry this for another 30 seconds to a minute just to waken all those seasoning up guys okay then we're going to add in our pre-seasoned pieces of chicken. Once you add this in, you're going to give this a good mix. Make sure all this goodness are all together. Take your time, okay? Mix it well. And then we are going to cover this and allow this to cook on a medium to low heat for just about five minutes. Don't add any water, nothing. Cover, let that steam in the pan do its magic, okay? five minutes later uncover and then we're going to add in our seasoning i, I use veg no this is not vegetable beef stock 
chicken stock is best but i had beef stock okay <laughs> followed by hot water and then we're going to add in our coconut milk oh this guys brought in flavor <laughs> anyway once you add in your coconut milk bring this to a boil cover and cook this for about 30 minutes or until the chicken is like nearly done I added in a chili just because I like my food hot, but this is personal. And then in the meantime, when, while the chicken is cooking, I preheated the oven to 160. Check for seasoning at this stage so that when you add in the rice, you know that you know you are happy with salt, pepper, and all that good stuff. Mine needed a little bit of something, something. So I added salt, okay? Add in now your drained, soaked rice. And then you're going to mix this up gently. You don't want to break all those rice. And then we are going to finish this in the oven. Cooking rice in the oven has been a game changer for me. If you don't have an oven, you can finish this on your stove on a low heat. But oven is best, okay? Cover this because this is like a Dutch oven. So the heat, it will trap the heat in. Place this in the oven, preheated for about 20 to 30 minutes or until your rice is fully cooked and all that liquid has fully is fully absorbed, okay? About 30 minutes mine it took and look at this guys. I wish I could send you the smell. This was so good guys. I really do hope you are inspired. Thank you so much for watching.